Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Microsoft Word on your iOS device to send and receive attachments and to open up an attachment. And this is pretty common if you're on the road and you get an email from somebody and uh, you need to open up a Word document on your phone or uh, maybe you're looking, you need to act to take a look at one of the documents you were working on before that you sent to somebody and make some changes or read it or whatever. So this is how you do it. So right now we're looking at the iOS mail application and you'll see that there's an email from Alexa near the top. So I'm going to tap that and this is a message that I sent to Alexa and then if you scroll down to the very bottom you'll see the document that I sent. And this is an article and it's marked with a W, that means it's a Word document, but you can also see the title which ends in dot doc x. So I can open that up in Word. Uh, one thing that happens in the mail program on iOS when you tap it to open it up, it shows a preview of it, but this isn't Word. It's just showing a, an uneditable preview on your phone just so you can see what's there. What you want to do is tap the icon in the lower left corner. It looks like a square with an arrow coming out of it. And that will give you some options to open it up somewhere else. And you can see that there's all these different options here. What I'm looking for is the application, Microsoft Word, which is on my phone. So what it does is it will copy it to Word. So tap that. So it's opening it up. Um, it says I have to convert it if I want to edit it, so I'll do that. And then it also prompts me to save it to OneDrive. And OneDrive is Microsoft's cloud-based storage service. It's like a server-based service to store your documents and other files kind of in the cloud uh, so it's not stuck on your device somewhere. And if you, you know, drop your phone in the lake or it gets stolen or something, you won't have access to it. Because it's in OneDrive, you can actually uh, access it from another computer or another device later on. So it's a very, it's a pretty good system. So uh, this is the name of the article. It's, it's, it's the name that I had on it before. So it's defaulting to that. I'm just going to save it. So this is going to be saved to OneDrive. So it's connecting to OneDrive. And by the way, I'm using Wi-Fi. So it's a little bit faster than if you were using it on a, you know, a 3G network or something like that. But I think on LTE or 4G or other fast wi wireless networks, you should be able to do something like this with a document, particularly if it's relatively small. And this is pretty small. This is a, a I think it has 1,300 words. It's not a huge thing. So here it is. One thing you'll notice if you open up a, an attachment like this on your phone, it's uh because the perspective of the phone is different than the perspective of a, a standard printed document. It's really tiny and then if you if you zoom in you can't really see things so clearly but one thing you could do is you could tilt the phone so it's uh, landscape orientation. It's a little bit easier to edit it that way and then you can you can go to town on editing it. And by the way I have another video that shows how to edit these documents. I'm not going to get into that now. The purpose was to show you how to open up a word attachment on your phone using Microsoft Word. So if you wanted to edit it, you could do that. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is what if you want to send that document to somebody else as an attachment. So let's say that, okay, I've opened up this document, I've made a couple edits, and I want to send it to somebody else as an attachment. This is how you do it. Top right corner, there's a little silhouette of a person with a plus next to it. Tap on that. The third choice, send a copy, choose that one. Tap it. Email with Outlook, which I do not have installed on this phone, and then send with another app. That's the one you want. And then you can choose Mail. So what it's going to do, it's going to create it as an attachment in my mail program, and then I can uh, address this, I can address this email, and I can send it to somebody else. So that's how you use the Microsoft Word in conjunction with your mail program to open attachments and also to send attachments. For more information about how to get the most out of Microsoft Word, check out our book, Microsoft Word in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thanks so much for watching.